how are you? Are you having a good day? Yeah, really think about it. Are you having a good day? That idea, the idea of a good day, is something we take for granted. And over the next few minutes, I would like to talk to you and show you what having a good day is. Sometimes we think that good days depend on having awesome stuff, lots of money, popularity, lots of likes, and money, and good grades. We leave good days to external factors. And if we do that, we are focusing on, on what we do not have. And when we do that also, well, we are, it's normal because that is our human instinct to keep us safe and alert. But if we keep doing that, we open the door to emotions like sadness, hopelessness, anxiety. What if it didn't have to be that way? What if we focus on what is good or what, or, or what we have? Then we open the door to other feelings, connection, hope. Well, if things are good, perfect. But when things are difficult, looking for the positive moments is the only way that we can find our strength and energy to face them. Show of hands, who has had a bad day lately? Yeah, me too, right? So if you thought about maybe the day that you lost your job, or the day that you lost someone you love, or the day someone let you down. We all have those days. And what I would like to share with you is something that I share in my coaching practice that is from the science of happiness. The science of happiness is a field of positive psychology that studies the strategies, habits, and actions that make a difference in our life. Now I know that 40% of our happiness is determined not only by our genes or our circumstances. 40% can be determined for our thoughts and our actions, and they are all within our control. Another famous psychologist called Albert Ellis studied what something called the ABC model. That is what we can choose to, to, to get the power of choosing how to respond when difficult situations happen. A stands for activating event, something happens. And C stands for consequence, how we act, how, how do we react and what we, we think about the event. I know that you're thinking that I forget the B, right? Yeah, the B stands for belief. That is what we think about the situation. That's our interpretation. Yeah, and we can control that belief. So let's think about something that could happen in a school that will change a good day. Let's think about when you get an F, and I'm sure you know how that feels, right? So when you get an F, you, if you have the belief that grades show your self-worth, then the way that you will react will be something like, I'm so stupid, I cannot do this, I just rather give up. If your belief around grades is that it's something like just a number and also that you can always improve it, then the way that you react about it will be something like, I have to study more, I have to listen to the teacher, maybe I will ask for help. So if you see, the belief is under our control too. So how can we put this belief, the belief that we can control the goodness of our days into practice every day? And that's what we're going to do in the next. And I would like you to do it with me. Let's walk the talk. So think about a difficult circumstance that just happened recently. Yeah, you have it in mind? OK, I'll think about the day my dad passed away. It only happened a few months back, and it was one of my most difficult days. So when we are in those situations, we can choose between feeling lonely and close down or connect and share our feelings to others, especially those that care for us. In my case, I spend a lot of time with my family. We talk about what was going on. We listen to each other. We work together. 
On difficult days, we can choose between feeling sad and angry or feeling grateful for whatever is there that is good. In my case, when my dad passed away, I could focus on a future without him or I could focus on all the special moments that we had together. I was grateful for those. Are you still following me? Are you still thinking about your own circumstance? Yes? Okay. When things get tough, we can choose between denial, and that can take many different forms. Numbing the pain, avoiding reality, even scrolling on your phones. Or we can choose to tune in with our real feelings. When my dad passed away, I decided to be compassionate to myself and realized that it's okay some days to not be okay. I took care of myself as much as I took care of others. I made sure that I was sleeping well, eating well. I also did not ignore the pain. I just accepted it as part of my life. When things happen, especially crises, we can choose between what is taken from us or what is given to us. In my case, I chose to look for those that were making a difference in our lives, like the caring nurses and the family and friends that were there for us, giving us their support and their love. Did you notice that in your circumstance and my circumstance, what made the difference were our choices our beliefs, and our actions. And you might think, well, what are those actions? Well, those actions you might already know, right? You, there are things that you already know, but maybe you need to make them more of a daily practice. Whenever someone now tells you, have a good day, I want you to remember that. First, 40% of our, of our feeling good is within our control. Also, the belief around what is going on, our situation, that's the belief and it's also under our control. Another thing is that we can improve our days with our actions and our thoughts. Now, what I was saying, which are these actions? Well, there are things that look you know, for things that are good in your lives. Also, think about something that you are grateful for every day. Bonus points if you find new ones. Create good face-to-face -face relationship with your friends and family. Catch yourselves when you are comparing yourselves to others and stop. Take good care of yourselves here, here, and here. And become a helper. Seek opportunities to be kinder. That way, you can make the difference to others. And when it's your turn to be helped, someone else will be there for you. Let me leave you with this thought. If we forget to notice what is good, we risk taking for granted the small moments that make life worth living. So go on, look for those moments, and have a good day. A very, very good day. Thank you.